Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I hope you had a very good week and a very nice Friday. Today is Friday, so that is amazing. Yesterday, we were not able to have the class, but of course, we are going to continue in a normal way today and the rest of the course. So instead of finishing the October 9th, we're going to finish October 10th. That will be the only difference, okay? So uh, today we have a homework that is very good. Also, remember that we have to finish, no, we have to finish on Monday uh, or Tuesday, actually, the uh, unit number three. So we need to move on to that one. Uh, please check into the platform that is very, very important. Okay, and uh, today we have a homework that is that you are going to present, right, like the branding of a product. So we are going to start and we are going to check the attendance. Let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Veronica Hernandez Rodriguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodriguez. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Ingrid Paola Hernández de Mondo. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa. José Alfredo Hueso López. Perfect, Aida. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Carla Alejandra Chávez. Ah, okay. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Good, Mónica. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Good. Oscar René Molina Cálido. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Miro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Muchas gracias. Sandra Elira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Mr. Good. Oh, okay, so we are going to start uh, the class. And uh, uh, people, we need to be careful because uh, I have checked that there are many people getting the flu and uh, some kind of strange flu. I don't know. So let's be careful in that one because uh, I know that that happens in. September because there are many uh, a lot of rain so let's be careful on the rain let's be careful not getting wet because that can cause uh, somebody to have the flu and remember that that is something that is going to uh, transfer from one to another so that is something we need to be careful okay good perfect so we're going to start the class and we're going to check a little website that I have uh, let's see how it goes so this is five ways to nail your branding design. Okay, so the first question is here is what is nail? Anybody knows what is the meaning of nail? Uña. Oh. Is uña in this case is different because it's a, it's a verb. Nail as an uña is a noun but also can be a verb. So in this case, to nail, actually that is uh, an infinitive. So as a verb, what is nail? Anybody knows? 
Okay, so nail as a verb is uh, something like expose to everybody, get everybody to know something. So in this case, is uh, five ways to nail your brand, meaning that you, when you have, remember the branding is like uh, letting everybody knows how good is your product, right? It's like making some uh, advertising, uh, marketing campaigns, something. So nail is as exposing something, okay? And as a known, as Oscar said, is uña also can be clavo. So it's possible to use that in two ways. All right, so we're going to start reading. Let's see, Maria Julia, could you please help me with the first part, this part? Yeah. Where are you starting a new business? Looking to overall your brand. Overhaul. Overhaul your brand or are are just looking looking for a for a refresh touching your brand design can come with a lot of consideration consideration and and often a lot of option opini, opinion opinion for people writing your company within within or, or creative teams work create. out, create team work on brand every day has a result. We, we found that there are five steps that can help your brand development go more uh, smoothly and help your brand become more recog recog recognizable and memorable, let uh, deep in. Diving. Diving. Very good, so let's review the introduction. It says, whether you're starting a new business, looking to overhaul your brand, or, just, uh, or, or are just looking for a refresh, touching your brand design, comes with a lot of considerations and often a lot of opinions from people within your company. Let's check here first. Uh, remember what is weather? What is weather? Do you remember? See? See, as a conditional, right? Not as an affirmation. Good. And then it says overhaul. What is overhaul? Overhaul. Okay, overhaul is like revise. So in this case, it's like revising your brand, meaning that you have a brand and you have a branding of that one, but you want to change something. So overhaul is a synonym of revise. So looking to overhaul your brand or are just looking for a refresh, touching your brand. In his case, touching your brand design is like, you are going to uh, change some things in the brand. Not everything. It's not going to be a lot of changes, but a few changes. Uh, and then it says, within, do you remember what is within? Sing. Mm, it's not like that. That is like without. So within, 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 within is a preposition actually. And this preposition is very similar to between. Dentro. Something like that. Dentro. Okay. Dentro. Uh, in Spanish, we don't have a word for within, only in English. So the difference is uh, that within is, ah, ¿cómo lo podría explicar? Si nosotros decimos en español dentro de tu compañía, pero no es lo mismo into o in, Porque in es dentro cuando voy hacia adentro, o into también es una posición de movimiento que voy hacia adentro. Uh, pero within es cuando ya existe una estructura, y dentro de la estructura 
yo quiero hacer algo. So within. This is very important uh, preposition because sometimes when we are going to a, an interview, for example, a job interview, uh, some people, they say, I want to grow in the company. So is, you say grow in the company is not correct. Okay, and if by any chance they are evaluating your English for the interview and you say something like that, probably you are going to lose some points in the interview. So whenever you are going to speak like that, it's going to be within the company, always. Okay, within the structure or the organization, right? So it's all always within the company. So it's a very important position. Okay. Okay, so in the other paragraph, it says our creative team works on brands day. So this uh, company, BYE agency, is for branding, actually. As a result, we found that there are five steps that can help your brand development go more smoothly. What is smoothly? Obviously. Mm, it's not like no. that, no. Okay, smoothly is an adverb and is uh, like suave. So when you say this is going smooth, it, it means that everything is going very well, very nice, with the transitions very good. So smooth. Como dicen los, como dicen los, los chapines, está chilero. Oh, something like that. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is it. Smoothly is like something that is going well, very nice. Uh -huh, no very, problem. Very perfect. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And then it says, and help your brand become more recognizable and memorable. Okay. Pronunciation on those ones are very important. Recognizable and memorable. And then it says, let's dive in. Do you remember what is diving? Very good. Nice. So only dive is like sumergirse. So it's the verb that we use when you go to the to the ocean, for example, and you dive in the ocean and you are able to see the fish there swimming, things like that. But you say diving uh, in this kind of context, it's like meterse de lleno algo. Vamos a agarrar. So diving, something. Very good. Any other question here? Do you have any question on pronunciation or, or the meaning of a word? The pronunciation is smoothly. 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 Uh -huh. Remember yeah, this. Uh, overhaul. Overall. Over, overhaul. 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 And another word is um reconnoce reconnoce reconnoceable and that is recognizable 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 very good okay so let's move on it says number one get objective opinions on your brand so as we were checking here these are five ways to nail your brand so this is the number one. It says, get objective opinions on your brand. Very important, this one. Um, let's see. Ramiro, could you please help me reading this number one? Yes, teacher. Good. Number one, get objective options on your ha or your brand. Have you ever thought you had a great idea until someone else pointed out a build spot you blind spot blind spot you haven't been able to see on your own too often see uh, too too often we see brands created their logo color palette brand messaging and other brand elements in a silo silo a silo Silo. Silo. In a silo. Thank you, teacher. But without bouncing your idea of someone 
uh, who specialize specialize specializes in marketing and more importantly a prospect prospective customer it can be hard to know what is what is in and isn't working getting a third party uh, getting a third party perspective on this decision before solid solidifying solidifying the, Excuse me? Solidifying. Solidifying then will help ensure your branding will support the experience you are hoping to offer. Very good. Perfect. So uh, let's check. The, the title tells us a lot. So get objective opinions of the brand. Definitely, this is very good. I mean, yeah, when you have a product or service, it's very important that you get opinions from different points of view, different people. A friend of mine, someone told me that you need to, to present your idea or your product or anything that you have to somebody that is very negative. Somebody that is always watching some problems on everything. Because those people are going to tell you the problems that your product has. So you can solve those problems. So after you are able to to launch the product with the problem. So yeah, opinions on everybody is very important, okay? And let's check the pattern. It says, hey, you ever thought you had a great idea until someone else pointed out a blind spot you hadn't been able to see on your own. So let's check some words here. And this is true, but let's check some things. What is a blind spot? Ciego, un punto ciego, right? This is, for example, when you're driving, you're driving your car, there is a blind spot where you cannot see a motorcycle, for example, if it's coming, right? So uh, even if you turn your head or if you uh, if you are seeing the, uh, the rear view mirrors, you are not able to see that person or that motorcycle or that other car. The same happens. Sometimes we are very positive in our products or the company, but you are not able to see the problems that they have. So other people can give you a real opinion on those so you can solve the issue and avoid having problems with your customers. So that is a blind spot. It's a point that you are not able to see something that Sometimes, even if you try, it's not possible for you to say it, right? So, and all the question is very interesting because, yeah, sometimes that happens. You have a very good idea and other people come to say, oh, but there is a problem with this idea. Okay, so you need to listen to them. And once you are able to identify the solution, you can continue with your idea. Good. Uh, let me check. What is thought? Anybody remember that? And so past participle of think. Very good. It's the past of think. So have you ever thought that is important? Good. The next one says too often we see brands create their logo, color palette brand messaging and other brand elements in a silo. What is silo? Anybody knows? Okay, when you say in a silo is a synonym of isolated. Do you remember what is isolated? To be isolated? I'm gonna write the word here in the chat. So you check into that one. Is isolated. Oops, it's not correct. Isolated. That's the one. Do you remember what is isolated? Como isolación. No. Mm. Well, actually, I, ah, very good. Isolated is solo. Separado. 
So what is saying here in this uh, in this part is as too often we see brands create their logo color palettes is like the colors of the brand. You know that sometimes the brand they have they say pink is the color of our brand or I don't know rainbow mm -hmm. right now is very popular, right? Uh, brand messaging that is the the message that you want to express with your brand and other brand elements in a silo. So when it says in a silo is alone. They don't share that. They don't ask opinion to other people. They do it by themselves. So that is in a silo, alone, separated. They don't share that information. Okay. Any questions with this? Ah, it's uh, aislado, is it? Look exactly. Like Exactly. So that would be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. It says, but without bouncing, huh? what is bouncing? Como rebote. Very good. Rebotar. So, but without bouncing your ideas of someone who specializes in marketing and more importantly, a prospective customer it can be hard to know what is and isn't working. So that bouncing the ideas is like when you present different ideas to somebody that is a specialist, right? And then it says, uh, let me check what are we here. Uh, getting a third party perspective. What is third party? Anybody remembers? Okay, third party is like when you say a un tercero. So it's not you, the customer, and me, the, the company, but somebody else's, right? Something different from the company. So getting a third party perspective on these decisions before solidifying, I believe that you know what is solidifying, right? From solid, so to put something very hot, very nice, very strong, so that is solidifying. Before solidifying them will help ensure your branding will support the experience you're hoping to offer. So yes, when you express the ideas or the product or the company to, to other person, somebody that is not part of the company, they definitely can provide you some ideas, some feedback, so you can be strong, right, in your company. That is the idea. Okay, do you have any uh, questions, any pronunciation or uh, about vocabulary questions? Yes, what is that correct pronunciation, the solidifying? Solidifying. So, solidifying. 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 Yeah. A, another word is importantly. 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 Bouncing. 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 Thank you. It's a pleasure. Any other question? Okay, branding the numbers, it says, okay. And this is like a little chart. So it says, I'm gonna read this part. 88% of consumers say that authenticity is a key factor when deciding what brands they like and support. So authenticity. What is authenticity? Anybody knows? Authenticidad. Very good. So being authentic, nowadays, is very important. So a product that is real, that can help you, uh, I don't know, being different or solve many problems or things like that. The other one says 71% of consumers say it's important for brands to raise awareness and take a stand on social issues. Okay, so definitely. This is nowadays something very important. For example, have you, do you remember that sometimes when an actor 
or an actress in Hollywood, they do bad behavior. Sometimes the, they separate from company or from the movies. They say this person is not going to be part of the movie anymore because they really care about the opinion of people on social issues. If one person is not respecting the nature or is saying something that is against, I don't know, women, for example, or specific race, uh, they are in problem. Right? So they need to apologize and they need to do something about that. So this is this, that is the percentage. And then it says 90, people make up their minds within 90 seconds of their initial interactions with a brand. And up to 90% of their assessment is based on colors alone. In mind that. So when you see something, a pair of shoes, when you see a computer, when you see a house, in 90 seconds, you know if you like it or if you don't like it, if you are going to buy or if you are not going to buy. Sometimes it's possible that you like, but you are not sure. So you start asking questions, right? Or investigating. But in 90 seconds, everybody knows if they are going to actually buy buy a product or uh, get this brand, okay? Very good. And now uh, the other part says, uh, the assessment is based on colors a lot. So the colors that you present, not only the product, but also the envelope, the package, uh, the website is going to be very important for people to, to continue with you, with the brand, right? If something is kind of boring, the colors are not proper for the product, well, of course, they are not going to continue with that. Do you have any questions here in this part on the consumer brand alignment? Okay, let's continue. It says brand logos. Let's see. Uh, sorry, don't hear nothing. I'm sorry, can you, can you repeat? Uh, don't hear it. And don't. before that, you say anything and don't hear it, uh, nothing uh -huh. about. Oh, okay. It seems that the internet connection is not proper. Okay, I'm gonna check something here. Anyways, perfect, thank you. Okay, so it says uh, brand logos. Juan Roberto, will you please help me read this part? Brand logos. 50% of consumers say they are much more likely to use a company whose logo they easily recognize. 60% of consumers admit they typically avoid companies with weird or, or unattractive logos, even if they have a good reviews. 42% of people say that a logo can tell them about a company's personality. Perfect. So numbers are very important here, right? In mind, 50% of consumers say that they are much more likely to use a company whose logo they easily recognize. Sometimes something very simple is the best, like Nike, right? It's just a check. Or Adidas, only the three lines, right? So you see those brands and you recognize them. So you need to have a logo that everybody recognizes. That is very important. Easily recognize. Uh, do you know what is who's? What is who's? The king. The king. Very good. That is a possessive. Is the possessive for who? So when you want to say who's, for example, if you want to say the quién es esta computadora, whose computer is this? That is the question. It's not who but it's whose, 
whose computer is this? The other one says 60% of consumers admit they typically avoid companies with weird or unattractive logos, even if they have good reviews. So logos sometimes are more important than the product itself. That is crazy. Okay, avoid, what is avoid? Evitar. Very good. And then it says weird, what is weird? Extraña. Raro, extraño. Very good. But the difference of the strain when you use any any or other. Ah, uh, yeah. It's strange hard. is when you don't know something. It's strange. For example, don't don't talk to strangers, you say. So don't talk to people who you don't know. But weird is extraño como mm, this is not good. It's something not normal, something too different, something like that. Okay, when, and... I, when I know uh, uh, the, for example, the context of the thing, uh, I look at the, uh, a mark or a brand, a logo, sorry, and I say, oh, this logo is, uh, is weird, it's weird. And this may be the idea. Something like that, yeah. So when you see a, a weird thing, it's like not good, right? Weird almost always is not good. Weird. That is weird. You are weird. If somebody says that to you, it's like you are behaving not correctly, right? Not doing some things good. Okay, and the other one says 42% of people say that a logo can tell them about company's personality, imagine. So that's why logos are very Do you have any questions here, Scott? The pronunciation correct is typically. 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 Cool. Any other question? Okay. So then the other one says brand loyalty. Um, let's see. Blanca Tunaka. Not possible. Jonathan Figueroa. Boy, boy, boy. Ah, okay. Go, 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 Blanca. Hey. Brand loyal, loyalty. 75% of people, of people any day, the, puede ampliar más la imagen. Uh, fíjese que es un website, no es una imagen. So I, I junk, I can't. Well, I can create okay, a okay. junk, something like that. Oh, okay, can... listo. Of people say they they are likely to continue buying from new brands in the future. Okay. Seven, seven, uh, 77 77% of consumers will buy from a brand they follow on social over and over. Very good, perfect. So that is it. No, that is fine. That is okay. fine. Thank you. So brand loyalty, 75% of people say they are likely to continue buying from new brands in the future. So they are open to change you. That's why the companies are always sending new commercials, right? Sending information to you. Because maybe you believe that the product is good, but if other brand is coming, we are able to to think to change, right? So it's very important this part. And then it says 77% of consumers will buy from a brand they follow on social over and over. So if they're following you or they follow the company in social media, they most likely are going to buy from that. Yes, interesting this part. Do you have any questions on this? Okay, so brand colors. 
we spoke before that this is a very important fight. Jonathan Figueroa. Not possible. Wow. Let's see. Uh, who's going to read? Aida Isabel. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, brand color. Uh, 80% a signature color can cause of 80% increase in a consumer call. I, I can see so well, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. um, recognition of your brand. One in four. People say uh, logos color useful usually help them remember a company. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Seventy-one percent of customers have switched switched brands at least once in the last year. Sixty-two percent of customers feel an emotional connection on the brands they buy from us. Very good, perfect, thank you. So the colors of the brand are very important. Mine, 80% a signature color can cause an 80% increase in a consumer's recognition of your brand. So one single color, that is a signature Bye. color. En bien podcast. Así que, bueno, de hecho fueron tres podcasts. Which podcast did you send? Ah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, teacher. No problem. <laughs> hey, we want to hear that podcast. Let's see what it's about. Okay, so 80% says a signature color is like the main color of the brand. There is always one color that is the one that is going to reflect. There are other colors there around, but there is one principal color. So that principal color is the signature color of the brand. Uh, so, of course, that is a, an important color so consumers can buy from that. Then it says, people say a logos color uh, usually help them remember a company. Definitely. The color is going to be very important, so they prefer to go with the company. 71% of consumers have switched brands at least once in the last years. So, even if they are very loyal, they can change the brand. Then it says 62% of cons customers feel an emotional connection to the brands they buy. In mind that part. So there is an emotion, of course, on in all these things. So they can continue. They can link with one product. Do you have any questions here? Okay, so, and then it says uh, sources. This is like sources for the information. Number two, uh, this is going to be up till there. Okay. Oh. Let me just check. That's it. Uh, let's see, this is going to be for Ernesto. Please help me with this. Okay, teacher, uh, number two, clearly define your mission and benefit. Customers don't just want to know what to sell. They want to know about your brand. Microsoft and Venmo both have great mission and vision statements that guide and inspire the work they do. And they have one thing in common, their benefit it's cleared and in 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 design enticing enticing who wouldn't want to be a part of one of the following mission microsoft our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more benmo our mission is to change people's relationships with money and each other. 
Perfect, thank you. So let's check. It says clearly define your mission and benefit. Definitely, this is very important for everything, right? For the company. This is something very big. It says customers don't just want to know what you sell. They want to know about your brand. Everything that you do is very important, right? Microsoft and Vimo both have great missions and vision statements that guide and inspire the work they do. And they have one thing in common. Their benefit is clear and enticing. Uh, do you know what is enticing? Tentadora. Very good. That is enticing. Who wouldn't want to be a part of one of the following missions? And these are examples of missions, okay? Microsoft. Our mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. I buy that one. That is amazing, right? The mission of Microsoft is global mission to help everybody in the world. I mean, that is not that easy. And Vimo, that is the website that we're watching. Our mission is to change people's relationship with money and each other. Okay. Uh, do you have any question here? Okay. Number three, identify and get to know your target market. Okay, very good. So this is going to be for, let me see, Roberto Carlos. Okay, good evening for all. Mm -hmm. Identify and get to know your target, target market. You can eat everything to everyone, pinpoint your person, who you are talking to and what they need and what from your brand. You all you want to know everything from their height, their height, Hi. level need to the nighty gritty details that get them to buy. Are they more likely if you offer sustainable option, which social platform do they engage with the most? What color are the most attractive to them? The answer to this question will inform the final brand elements. Perfect, thank you. So identify, get to know your target market. Definitely something that we check up right, right? You need to know who are your customers. So you understand their needs, what they want. The colors, we checked that the colors were very, very important, right? So we need to identify what colors people on that target want or need. What is target? Do you remember the target market? El objetivo, objetivo, objetivo. Very good, perfect. So you say you can't be everything to everyone. So it's not possible to solve all the problems to everybody, right? So you need to have a target market. Even when you are selling Coca-Cola, for example, that is for everybody, even then you have a market target. And then it says pinpoint your persona. In this case, you can say person, okay? That is the correct part of uh, pronunciation because in this case, it's like the persona is like the person, the individual person that you are going to reflect this. Who is going to be the person that is going to receive the message, okay? And uh, do you know what is pinpoint? Okay, so pinpoint is like determined very precisely, okay? Very accurate. Uh, there is no word for that one in Spanish, as I remember. But pinpoint is like that. It's como estar seguro, como determinar muy, muy 
a detalle something, right? So pinpoint your persona. So determine who is that individual person that is going to be receiving the message, who you are talking to, and what they need and want from your brand. That really is very important. You want to know everything from their high level needs to the nitty gritty details that they uh, that get them to buy. What is nitty gritty? Do you know? Um, como, arenoso? Mm, not in this case. Uh, when you say the nitty gritty, it's like el meollo del asunto. When we say that in Spanish, it's exactly this. It's an expression that means that you need to understand what everybody is into, what they want, what they are doing, for example. So you understand them and then uh, give them the product they are looking for. And then it says, are they more likely to buy from you if you offer sustainable options? Sustainable, that is sustainable, right? Which social platforms do they engage with the most? What is engage? Compromises. Very good. That would be it. And then it says, what colors are most attractive to them? The answers to these questions will inform you final brand elements. Very good. Do you have any questions on this? No for me, teacher. Good. Number four. Uh, yes, it's going to be like this. Oops. That is it. All right. Number four is going to be four. Let's see. O sea. Number four, create a clear, consistent design. A consistent design. When people talk about brand design, they often talk about the big brands, Google, Amazon, Starbucks, Apple, but think of your favorite small brand. Maybe it's a local restaurant, an online store you shop from, or a local artist. Chances are these small brands have the same thing in common with those big brands. The brand design is consistent. Customers want to be want to be confident in your brand, but they get something in the mail, hear your ad on the radio, or see you on social. They should immediately think of you and what you can do for them. So constantly changing up your colors, messaging, tone or voice of voice, or overall look and feel can make it difficult to think of your brand in a cohesive way. Keep things consistent and you'll make it easier for customers to follow the red crumbs that lead back to you. Very good, perfect. So create a clear, consistent design. Definitely is very important. Once you get all the information that you are looking into, you need to, based on that one, create a very nice design. It says when people talk about brand design, they often talk about the big brands, Google, Amazon, Starbucks, Apple. But think of your favorite small brand. Maybe it's a local restaurant, an online store you shop from, or a local artist. Chances are, what is chances are? Opportunities? Chances is like that one. But when you say chances are, it's like when you say es muy probable. So chances are these small brands have the same thing in common with those big brands. They're brand sciences. Customers want to be confident in your brand. What is confident? Do you remember? Confiance. Very good. So they are confident in your brand. When they get something in the mail, hear your ad on radio, 
or see you on social. And they should immediately think of you and what you can do for them. So constantly changing up your colors, messaging, tone of voice, or overall look and feel can make it difficult to think of your brand in a cohesive way. What is cohesive way? Okay, when you say in a cohesive way, it's like uh, in de una manera penetrante, que se quede pegado. Okay, so that's what companies want. That the people have the idea always in their mind to buy the product. That is it. Okay, uh, so keep things consistent. So if you change the logo, the motto, the anything, eh, eh, very, very often, probably the people are going to get confused and they are not going to continue sure. with you. And you'll make it easier for customers to follow the breadcrumbs. Do you know what is breadcrumbs? Okay, breadcrumbs uh, is migajas. That lead back to you. So this is a, a way to explain that if you lead some ideas, people are going to continue working with you. Do you have any question here? Okay, and the final one. Make a brand plan, aka strategy. Okay, let me just move here back and that is it. All right, that is going to be for, let's see. Sandra Gomez. Not possible. Let's see then. Oscar René. Ya presentía por eso empecé a leer. Ah, ok. <laughs> Make a brand plan. Oka strategy. Chances are, chances are there are some parts of your brand design that mm -hmm. were never the same. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. In your last brand refresh, or maybe you are in need of a refresh, but, the, uh, but no, don't know where to start. The throat, throat of the ma mother is that you no know, company has the time or budget to update everything to their website to their fin finance. And the other hands in one field, no, snoop. Pen soup. In soup. Stop. It's a new it's a new word for me. Okay. So having a, a strategy for create a seller consistent brand that standard stands true to who you are and speaks speak speaks to your target persona yeah. can can help you stay on track on Prioritize that prioritize prioritize that needed needed first need help putting your brand design plan together or need some help creating your new brand elements. Perfect. Let's check into that one. So Make a brand plan, ACA strategy. Do you know what is ACA? As okay. below as. Very good. That is, it. it's an abbreviation. ACA is, and I'm going to type that in the, in the chat. 
That is it. Also known as Aka. Uh, it's very popular that with people, I mean, so for example, you say, uh, I don't know, Benito, I don't know what is the name, Benito and something. Uh, Aka, uh, what is the name? Uh, Bad Bunny, uh, that is the one. So, también conocido como, also known as, that is Aka. Okay. And it's very popular that in English. So, chances are, there are some parts of your brand design that were never updated in your last brand fresh. So yeah, that happens. It's possible to, to have some parts that are missing, right? Okay, the other one says, or maybe you are in need of a refresh, but don't know where to start. The truth of that matter, what is matter? Matter, materia. Materia, very good. The truth of the matter is that no company has the time or budget to update everything from their website to their signage. What is signage? Do you know what is signage? Signos. Mm, something like that, yeah. Signage. Uh, so, signos. That would be signos. And uh, letterheads. Do you know what is letterheads? Membrete. Very good. So signage, the like the signature, the letterheads in one fell swoop. So what is to fell swoop? Redada. Mm, okay, something. That one is like uh, when something is not working and it start failing. Something like that is fall. When you fell swoop, when somebody fell swoop, it's como caer en picada, como empezar a caer of a position mm -hmm. from another position that is below. That is fell soup. Uh, the two words are together, okay? Fell soup is an expression. And then it says, having a strategy for creating a stellar. What is stellar? Estrella. Estrella, so something that is very good, right? Having a strategy for creating a stellar, consistent brand that stands true to who you are and speaks to your target persona can help you stay on track and prioritize what's needed first. Stay on track. What is stay on track? Something like that. Mantenerse. Mantenerse en, en la tendencia o el camino. Mm -hmm. And then it says, you need help pulling your brand design plan together or need some help creating your new brand elements? And that would be it. Okay, so pulling your brand design. Pulling, what, do you know what is pulling? Pulling, very good. That is perfect. Do you have any questions here in this last one? Okay. All right. So this was the little part of the class by now. Now the moment has come of the presentation. Ha, I want to see. I want to see what you're going to show. Uh, so the question is, who is going to present first? The branding. Teacher, yeah. the, 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 homework, the, the homework was present uh, our plan branding about our idea or a product or service. Something like that, yeah. It's, it's to present your branding strategy for any, it could be a product, it could be a, a company, it could be a persona, people, person, I don't know, whatever you want to create that. Okay, teacher. Uh, I want the first. Very good, Ernesto. Very nice. So let's listen to Ernesto, who's going to be the first one. Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. Can I show the, the presentation? Definitely. Let me just change the settings here. Hold on. Okay, you can do it now. 
Okay, teacher. Um, I don't know if you if you see. Yeah, we're able to see. Okay. Um. Uh, good night, everyone, and uh, teacher. Uh, this this um. This is for me is a, a, a dream in the in the future. Uh, is is an idea. Uh, it's a, a a little brief of the branding plan around of my my idea in this point is place to this distribute products products of Salvadorian artisans. For me, this I, this point is very very important uh, because promote Salvadorian products. Uh, where in the social media. Uh, for me, it's very, very important. Uh, the target, uh, the, the target objective is around the social media, for example, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. But uh, the other important is the in a local, in a, fam in a famous mall in San Salvador, San Miguel, Santa Ana, and Antigua Cuscatlán. In San Salvador, San Miguel and Santa Ana, uh, um, I think an idea, and I have a local in, in the metro center in San Salvador, San Miguel and Santa Ana. But in Antigua Cuscatlán, uh, in the local is uh, in, in Plaza Merliot. The price, the price of the product, uh, uh, or the negotiation with the artisans, because uh, my idea is to distribute the product of the Salvadorian artisan, uh, no made by myself. Uh, it's about to distribute the different product with a little percentage cost uh, for distribution. And um, the target objective uh, is the tourist in a specific tourist, but it's possible um, to sell the product or Salvadorian product uh, to Salvadorian with visit uh, this the social media and this mall. Um, my my motto or my uh, my phrase is consumer hours consumer the the Salvadorian product. And this is my 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 logo artisan uh, artisans Cuscatlán artisans. And the cultural identity, this uh, the create I create uh, the vision, mission, and and five values. Uh, the vision is become the best distributor of, of Salvadorian product in El Salvador. Uh, our mission or my mission is be a distributor committed to Salvadorian artisans, uh, dig dignif dignify their work. And dance and dancing them with no at the national level, and uh, in the third uh, cultural identity, uh, I have five values: integrity, engagement, responsibility, solidarity, and honest. And in this is a different a different product uh, that is possible uh, have. In the in the page, uh, in the internet, on the social media, or in the in the in the local, um, crockery, um, pumped products, um, candies in the seasonal food products, and in this is my presentation, teacher and friends. Hey, very good, very interesting. So it's a very good idea, actually. I believe that lots of people, they are looking for things like that sometimes, and they need to know where to find them, right? Sometimes, for example, I need I need a present for somebody. I don't know where to go, right? So um, it's a very good idea. And uh, yeah, it's very nice that you presented the mission, the vision. It was a very nice presentation. Good, thank you. A very good job, Ernesto. Thank and you. Anybody has a question for Ernesto?
Okay. Very good. Nice. So who's going to be the next one? Yes, teacher, me. Very good. Uh, I chose the, the follow uh, uh, this study, the Coca-Cola branding. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a, a global uh, 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 it's a case study but uh, the is is very important knowing uh, the the strategy marketing from coca cola ya eh, el ya que eh, eh, the coca cola y, y begin are uh, um, uh, medicine and selling inside the the uh, the uh, locals for a, a, a drugstore um, is a very interested by a change to the more values mark the global the globally uh, it is a uh, very important we know when uh, the the all the change have a uh, coca cola to the begin the the show we and the customer but everything is a first place for the uh, uh, for the likely uh, the the customers and this is uh made uh, the marketing campaigns will remember forever is a uh, very important and uh, is 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 a uh, is a is not a typical beverage is a uh, only a uh, the begin with a soft drink but uh, uh, contains um uh, leaves coca uh, Hojas de, de coca eh, oh. original and, eh, eh, y, and caffeine. This is a very interesting and uh, for this, I uh, uh, want preferring the marketing strategy uh, the Coca Cola. Very good, perfect. Actually, uh, what you are showing there is exactly what we were checking uh, on the class on the website, right? You can see the colors. Colors are yeah. very important, right? And, and I mean, yes, what, every everything uh -huh. can, uh, can uh, define with uh, like only the first letter, okay? Everything is a ah, Coca Cola, <laughs> okay? Is it like a a a, a Pepsi? Uh, everything knows the two color, blue and red, and uh, uh, is a a, a a recognize recognizable for everything. That's it. It's recognizable. I mean, you see the logo, you see the colors, uh, everything exactly like that. It's a very very good example of everything that we have checked because uh, I mean they research. I believe they research at the beginning and they decided to go with these colors, with this logo. So the the way the shape of the bottle also. I mean, you see the the shape of the bottle. And you know, you know that that is um, this this uh, soda that we always they have the drink. all the components for uh, uh, recently uh, uh, analyzed. Exactly, very good because it's as we as we have told in all this unit, Coca Cola is the top. Right? It's, it's a monster on this one. So, and they. Uh, they know their business. So the business is not the product, it's the branding. That is the business. The branding, right? the branding, the real branding. Exactly. Very good, Thank perfect. You, it was a very good one. Thank you, Ramiro. Perfect. Who wants to be the next one? Okay, I'm going to choose then uh, Carla Alejandra. Teacher, I don't know if I do. 
if I did the, the homework. Good, because I, I, bueno, estuve viendo a los compañeros y creo que hice algo que no, Usted pero debe. igual lo voy a presentar. Yes. Vale. Lo importante aquí es la práctica del inglés. No works. May you see the screen? I can see the screen, yeah. Okay. Every morning wakes you up. Faith. Love, a dream, a hope, day by day in the morning, Juan Valdez. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Day. Okay, my plan um, is one. Yeah, my plan is, is distribute in supermarkets and the advertising is in social networks and television, I think. It's one of the best ways to the publicity, make the publicity, make the publicity. That's it, teacher. Okay, very good. So yes, actually it was very nice. And yeah, I mean, that coffee is, is very popular. I remember there was a time uh, that this coffee was not very popular. Only if somebody goes to Colombia and bring the coffee, right? But now it's a very international coffee. Very, I don't drink coffee, but I like that one. It's a very nice, very good, perfect. Thank you, Carla. Any questions for Carla? Ernesto le gusta el café. <laughs> yeah. No, I love I love the Juan Valdez coffee. For me, it's, it's the one of the of the popular coffee here in, in El Salvador. Um, but the, the, the presentation of, of the Carla, Carla presentation is very good. Uh, and I remember the video that uh, you teacher show us in, in the, a few days with the, uh, around the Mac, I don't remember the name, the YouTuber famous. Mm, yeah. With the, the, the strategy branding, it's yeah. very good. In a, in a few seconds, uh, in, a, in a, a very good photos and sounds, and the product is, is, is present, is, the, is a good idea. Very good, perfect. Yeah, it was a very nice visual, and, and that is a very good. Very good, thank you. Nice job. Okay, the next one is going to be Juan Roberto. Not Juan Valdez, but Juan Roberto. Okay, teacher. Uh, I can't share my, my screen, but I when I'm going to talk about uh, the, the, the service, uh, the brand name is Good Trip. Uh, it's an Salvadorian airline that started operation in two, 2022. His logo is a blue airplane flying over the ocean. And the marketing strategy is, is to put ads in important sports events, including the most important qualities, also sponsor national football teams, and to create, and to create a website that shows a lot of promotions national and international touristic destinations and more and um, well that's all okay very good yeah actually that sounds like a very good plan sports are very popular here in Salvador, so i believe it would be a very good achievement if you are able to do anything like that any questions for juan robert Okay, perfect, thank you. So the next one is going to be Oscar Rene. Sorry. No, no la había terminado. Ah, do you need more time? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, si quiere que pase otro. Okay. Okay, very good. Blanca. Ah, okay. 
Go, go, Aida. Go, Aida. Aida is up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. Um, wait me a minute. Of course. <clears throat> uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, this is my brand and my in my case is my really dream and the future because I would like to create my I would like create my own academy. Okay. In this case based on teaching English for uh, teenagers. And I have this um classroom. <laughs> waiting for the moment because I don't know but I love really my job. I love to to teach a new language in this case. Uh, but the moment is okay is necessary I know that it's necessary to improve my knowledge about the English. Um but in the future I would like really I like to create my own academy in English, okay? <laughs> in, under, in order to teach, um, that's all. <laughs> okay, very good, that is an interesting project. So yeah, English is necessary. I, I know that a lot of people, they speak English nowadays. Um, now, even I mean, if you go to the market, people there in the market, they are speaking some words in English, right? They know uh, some basics. Uh, and it's an open thing that everybody's taking advantage of. It. So it's a very interesting, uh, very good. Any questions for Aida's project? Okay, so uh, Oscar, are you ready? Okay, yes, I'm ready. Okay, my screen is okay. You look my screen? Yeah. Okay. The clothes, uh, comfort comfortable, comfortable, let's see, or comfortable. Comfortable. Comfortable clothes. Okay, men, women, women, and children. Men's sport, women exercise, and children the comfort play. Okay. The inner layer. Lawyer must be comfortable, comfortable, light, and absorbent. Okay. And whether whether you want a basic and comfortable model of your one to show of your sexy size, size here, we. And we will talk to, to you about some of the best brand of women underwear. And not only that of how shows price and the frame for its materials, but also for its wonderful design. They are extremely sexy, but at uh, the same the same elegant, achieving the perfect balance uh, in their clothes. Clothes in many years we find their incredible and ionic lens note as pastachi pastachi. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Pastaglio. Uh, okay. After embroidered? And or prastaglio, I believe it's, it's going to be like prastaglio. Prastaglio that give, gives a touch the clothes. Plus, to their different model of brand panties, body suits, or clothes horses. If you want to give a gift of of give a personal show to you, La Perla, other words, or Fijama, you can personalize 
it your beauty, your initial embroidery on some of its products be prepared to spend a lot if one if you want to buy their products same time things their bus their breast can cost more more for uh, five thousand dollars will of this thing don't you will have to pay for thirty four thirty hundred dollars it's only product. Okay, very good, perfect. So, uh, and yes, the first part is very interesting because you can show like the steps on that one. So, very good. Anybody has a question yes. for Rene? Questions? Pedidos? Okay, good. <laughs> We're open here. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. girls? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, now, uh, yes, Blanca Tanaka. I, I don't know prepare, prepare the, my, my hunger. I don't know. Okay, so you didn't do it. Okay, no worries. Uh, uh, Oseas. Okay, not possible. Uh, Maria Julia. No, finish. Okay, I will give you more time. No worries. Uh, Jonathan Figueroa. Not possible. Sylvia, I say no. Okay, not possible. What about Veronica Elizabeth? Okay, uh, what about Monica Avalos? Uh, teacher, I'm doing the work now, the homework. I'll okay. finish in a few minutes, okay? Well, okay, perfect. Not a problem. Thank you. What about Mauricio Rivera? Hey, not possible. What about Jennifer Apache? Okay, and Sandra Gomez? Okay, perfect. No problem. So, uh, yes, branding is a very important part of the company, as we have checked already. And uh, there are lots of companies that they do that. I believe that all the companies should be doing that one. Uh, probably here in Salvador, they do some branding. I mean, big companies. But the small companies, sometimes they just offer the product and that's it, right? It's something that uh, almost always people forget to do but it shouldn't be like that uh, probably one of the problems is that everything is important i believe that you have checked some other other uh, content like production you're going to check about human resources you're going to check about many things so it's very interesting how the topics and the manuals for this english class offer you solutions for every every any kind of company that you have that you work for or if you want to be an entrepreneur and start your own company you have the steps there in the english classes so it's a very interesting thing because sometimes we don't know where to start right sometimes we don't know what to do 
So this is like a little guide in English for you to run a business, a company, uh, and avoid having some problems. So it's a very good, very nice. Uh, Maria Julia, are you ready? Uh, no. Okay. No. All right, perfect. So let's do uh, some speaking activities and then we're going to listen to Maria Julia and uh, Veronica that's the listen. Uh, let's see who are going to talk with. Let's see with... Um, Jose Alfredo. Not possible. Um, I don't know who is here and who's not to be honest. So I don't know. Let's see. Aida Isabel. Okay, not possible for her. What about um Blanca Tunaka? Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, fine. Fine, thank you. Very nice. So uh, do you work on Saturdays or Sundays? Yes, I I work Saturday in four hours. In the mornings? In the morning. Mm, very good. Very interesting. Um, I have a question for you. Let's see if we can get that one. Do you remember what is the oldest memory that you have in your mind? The oldest memory that you have. For example, for me, the oldest memory that I have in my mind is once that I was at the beach with my father and he was carrying me there on the beach. I remember that little moment. I don't know how old was I. I don't know if I remember that one because I was in danger or something happened. But I remember that. I remember that I was with my father. I was a little baby. A little boy. I don't remember who, how old was me. But I remember that one. I remember that that is the oldest memory that I have. So I want to ask you, do you remember your oldest memory? What is the oldest memory that you have? My memory is oldest. Oldest is my, my, my mom, my mommy. Is... Uh, Make make the uh, make cook for for eating my family. Mm, okay, interesting. So the oldest memory that you have by now is your mom cooking. Yes. Interesting, right? It's very interesting how these memories are for things that are are moments that are not special moments like big moments but something that is like very a common activity let's say something that is not big deal but maybe something happening we remember that one right very good perfect thank you Blanca let's see with Carla Alejandra what is the oldest memory that you can remember well teacher my oldest memory it's play, played with my dog. And I remember too when it was dying because a person poisoned. Oh my God. Poisoned it. Uh, that's, that's my oldest memory. It's a little bit sad, but I remember when I, I was playing, played okay. with him. Very good, interesting. Yes, I was telling you sometimes I'm not like, I don't know, things that are special moments, uh, but there are things that are like the oldest memory because of something, like something happened. Maybe something very nice or something like that. Interesting. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Oscar René, what is the oldest 
memory that you can remember? I remember things from when I was two years old. In my two years old, what do you remember? Yes, I remember the my brother, my brother fourth in the ri river, following the river in the cold, cold in there in my house. I I went to get two years so. Imagine so. Uh, imagine to remember yeah. something that when you are too yeah. old, two years old. So yes, and two years. I have two years. Yes, and I, I remembered, I, struck, uh, struck in the fire. Struck the fire, the bomberos. Ah, uh, the fire, fire. Tenía un camión, un camión de bomberos ese día. ¿Te acuerdas? Varias cosas así vagas. I, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, the brain works in interesting ways, right? So it's very good. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. What about uh Ernesto? What is the oldest memory that you can remember? Yes, teacher. Uh, I remember when I was a child, uh, but don't two years. That mentioned Oscar, but when I I was a child, I remember uh, five years. When I was five years, um, my house uh, was two level, the constructions, and I remember in the second level. Uh, my mother, my father, and my bro, my brother, and my sisters, uh, sleep in the second level. But in the night, I woke up um, in the first level because um, I remember I was needing uh, to drink water. But when when and I was I was uh, walking. I saw a cat, a, a a white a white a black a black cat, and it scared me. And I I showed I showed a load. And I I remember my father uh, down to the to the first first and level uh, and I see I, I saw when I I uh, I saw a scare me. Okay. Interesting, yeah. So also that is very old, right? Because I mean when you were a kid around five, six years old, is something I mean that probably some people they don't remember, but uh, yeah, so I was telling you the brain works in very interesting place. The the history my father and my mother mentioned in a different meeting with my my parents in the in the Christmas in my birthday always remember 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 uh, that history. Yeah, probably uh, that helps you remember some details, right? But anyways, it's a very good thing that you are able to remember that. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. What about Roberto Carlos? What is the oldest memory that you can remember? Your microphone is off. Yeah, you're, you're muted, Roberto Carlos. Okay. 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 
Uh, my oldest uh, remember is um, maybe I had uh, 18 years or 16 years more or less and I go to the I went to the, to the river with any friends and playing and to swimming and playing with the with the friend and I I up to to a stone in the in the the port in the highest stone and is sometimes for any anything I I slide and I fall for the for the for the pool of the river and I broke my my left leg and I uh, I have three months with uh, a pair of the mullets, the mulletas, and it's a, a big problem for me because I don't help her. I don't have the permits of my <laughs> of my parents. And after uh, I I received the the el correspondiente correctivo, the correction <laughs> order is the most is the, the one of the most uh, older. Yeah, remember. Okay. Yeah, I believe that is because of many things that happen on that day, right? And the consequences, of course. But it's a it's a good memory, very good, perfect. Uh, nice. Thank you for sharing. Robert. And what about Ramiro? What is the oldest memory that you can remember? Well, uh, well, um, I remember a uh, long time ago. <laughs> is uh, with my two sister and my father and, and mother uh, in in the in the grandmother house uh, ever going uh, the saturday to the the breakfast and with my cousin and uh, an uncle uh, this is a good remember uh, uh, when uh, uh, re meeting with all the family. Okay. It's good okay. to remember. Very nice. Yeah, those little moments are very special, right? And how old did you say that you were there? Do you remember? Yeah, how old were you? I, I have a 58 age. Years old. No, but I mean, how old were you when that remember happened? I don't understand. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, how old were you in that memory, in that moment? Ah, uh, when I have a uh, four years, four uh, years old, four or five years, then my uh, my sister. Is uh, have two two more years. Yeah. This is uh, I remember. Yeah, four years. My very yes. very good. <laughs> Long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> time passes. Time passes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Thank you for sharing. Um. Uh, uh, Thank you. But uh, what about Juan Roberto? What is the oldest memory that you can remember? Well, I have a memory that when I when I was four or five years old, and I played with my with my brother and uh, with uh, plastic guns with with lights. Uh, that's my my oldest memory. Yeah. How old were you at that time? Mm, like four or five years old. Yeah, that is it. Four or five. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank yeah. you for sharing. Okay. Okay. Uh, who else? Let's see. Oseas, what is the oldest memory that you can remember? Okay. Uh, I've always loved to watch movies. So I don't know how old uh, uh, I was, but I remember that I was in my 
grandparents' home, and I was watching a movie, uh, a movie from an angel. So I don't know whom I was with, but I remember uh, it's a, a it's a blurry memory. Um, after a lot of years, I I wanted to watch the same movie, but I don't remember the name of the movie. I only remember a part of the movie when appears an angel, and that memory is still in my in my mind. But I don't know. I I I've tried to 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 find that movie, but I I couldn't. So that's my, my oldest memory. Okay, very good. Yeah, so uh, things that sometimes happen. I remember, for example, watching some movies. Uh, I watch a really weird movie sometime and I never saw that again. Uh, but I remember very clear everything that happened in the movie. So yeah, that is a good uh, memory. Uh, I'll say, as by any chance, did you do the homework or did you didn't? Sorry? Uh, by any chance, did you do the homework for today? No, I, I, I do not. I did nothing, teacher. Okay, no worries. Sorry. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Okay, uh, Maria Julia, are you ready? I guess she's not still right. What about Veronica Elizabeth? Ah, Maria Hood is present. Okay, let's let's go with Maria. Uh, we cannot hear you, Maria Hood. Uh, hello, Maria Julia. Uh, creo que está mute. No la podemos escuchar. Okay, excuse okay. me. No problem. Uh, my brand is a uh, Dulcería Villalta. It's a uh, it's a uh, brand local. The my 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 city, uh, San Vicente. It's a uh, logo design. It's a uh, Identify the nostalgic product uh, made in the artisan the for our town San Vicente, local the central area the, of the El Salvador. It, it this express the struggle that characterizes our town is a. Uh, a cell room is San Vicente and this plaza San Benito is a is a visual identify is a delicious product for me where uh, <laughs> made by the hand uh, of Salvadorian worker that prov prov provoke uh, your delicious uh, Sweet the different flower and color of a tropical fruit of our con or country is a the the graphic design is a design that is simple with donkey milk and mazapan sweet which make the customer want test. Quantas used by the the scene, the the design of the massa pan switch it is a for me the presentation the the branding. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, those candies are very very good. So it was. Uh, Massapan, I remember that. Yeah, uh, so in San Benito place is a is a is a is a is is a supermarket. 
uh, distribution uh, switch uh, the mazapans is a uh, uh, zapote is a um, camote is a uh, ah lot of product lot of uh, flavor very good perfect where do you say that is that excuse me yeah where or where do you say that we can find that find that yeah Okay, very good. Very good, interesting, nice. Uh, and yes, those candies were very, very good. I, now I, I want some of those. <laughs> okay, very good. Any questions for uh, Maria? No teacher, but I remember when I was driving to the Panamerican Street, uh, you, you, can, you can see the different candy store, but the very, very famous, in the more oldest store of the candies is in the in the Dulceria Villalta. Very good. Okay, very good, perfect. Very nice. Es, es única. That's very the one. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, so I guess now we're gonna go with uh, Veronica. Hello, teacher. Me, hey, Veronica yes. Burgos. Uh, yes, please. Okay, I will try to share that picture. Let me see a few minutes. Of course. Um, if I can't, uh, I can talk about uh, my own, own brand. Of course. Okay. I think my own brand. Um, Mm. It's a legal office, Burgos and Associates. My dream is to, is to grow and my content be one of the best known brands as a legal service. And I also hope, I hope that my, my firm has a social area to be able to help those, those uh, to need legal assistance without um, having to pay because uh, some people cannot, can't pay and need to assistance or legal assistance sometimes. sometimes. And they, if it, he can pay, uh, your uh, activities cannot can do it. And I have a one brand, uh, my my logo, but I can I can turn now. Ah, oh, okay, all right. Uh, uh, this is an example, and I can do another another activities too. And I can give the assistance legal to other people so and help that. I think uh, my office or my lab office I can do that in the future uh, in all country. That's okay. It. Very good, perfect. And that is, a, yeah, I remember that's something that you spoke before. So it's a very nice thing. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, very interesting. So I believe this topic has been very nice. We are going to finish the topic next week about branding and some other kinds of uh, grammar. So, and uh, now you know how to, to focus on so certain specific things that are very important so you can reach people. And this is not only for company, but also for uh, any other, I mean, people, if you're an artist or whatever. Uh, let's ask first the two questions that we the question that we were asking to these two last uh, participants. Maria Julia, do you remember what is the memory that you remember, the oldest memory that you can remember? You asked me my oldest memory too? 
Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I remember some some specific action because uh because the activities was house impression for my life. Uh, for example, where where I I was two years old and I beat a dog in my face and, and then that activity was impression for me that I can forget because I was if and I I was a little children but I don't forget that. Okay, very interesting, very nice. How old were you at that time? Yes. Uh, do you remember how old were you? Yes, I I don't remember, and I was two years old. In mine, two years. Very good. Perfect. Very good. Thank you very much. What about you, uh, Maria Julia? Do you do you remember? I mean, is I there have... a memory? Go ahead. I I remember is a uh, uh, the game my friend my my friend uh, uh, my brothers is a uh, especially the afternoon is my uh, a lot of gamer is a uh, arranca cebolla is a uh, ladron librado. It's not. It's nothing. Is gamer is a uh, actually is a uh, a uh, uh, gamer is a uh, 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 arranca cebolla esconde el anillo is a uh, any 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 gamer is a uh, my my friend and uh, uh, or my brother is a. Uh, I remember. I remember. Uh, is a uh, room. Is a uh, horse. Is a uh, lower lower room. A horse. Uh, is a. Uh, um. Is is a uh, a uh, my infancia. Uh, um. Uh, is a uh, remember is a uh, luego in, in the meeting con, or my family is a uh, my 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 daughters my husband is a uh, every John the fight the jacket loss friend and we are low is a is a mirroring is a gamers to the the como contar chistes pierde amigos a todas esas nos eh, is amazing is a oh. my remember perfect thank you very much yes those little moments when you were a kid, right? When you were happy and you didn't know. <laughs> That's what we say now. En esa época, esos eran nothing, television, nothing, watch television. It's a... nice. It was nice, yeah. <laughs> very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, my friends. So it's Friday and we need to go to bed. So. Uh, tomorrow and Sunday in the classes you are going to rest. Remember to move on with the platform and we are going to check the uh, attendance of course. Let me just go back there. All right. So uh, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Here teacher. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. José Alfredo Hueso López. 
Todo es un teacher present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Here, teacher. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Ramiro, good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Ready for the chat of tequila. Yeah. Oh, no, it's whiskey. Yeah. It's whiskey, Johnny Walker. <laughs> well, today's Friday, my friend, so. <laughs> ah, yeah, all, this, all the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> the moment, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Very good, hey. Perfect. So, uh, Sandra Janira Gomez Romero. Silvia Patricia Seitur Mendez. Victor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgo Rivas. Present, teacher. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a very good night and nice weekend. See you on Monday and uh, dream in English. Teacher, nice I want to something. Uh -huh, go ahead. If you have a notice for me about the platform. Eh, no yet. Ah, ya lo escalé varias veces, no me han dicho nada. Si en cuanto sepa algo, yo le aviso y si no, la otra semana lo vamos a ver escalar. Ok, muchas gracias. Feliz noche. Good night. Thank you, Aida. Sorry. You. Thank you.